Hi friends. Um, this is my first video, so we're not actually friends yet, but I hope we do become friends. Um, I'm going to try to do this in one take and just be real. Um, and the real real is that I am sitting on the floor of my messy bedroom. I don't have an, uh, a tripod. So I just have my phone sitting on my bedside table and I'm talking to you. I don't know exactly what I titled this or when you're watching this. But I'm doing this to document our journey. Um, my husband and I have been married almost six years and I found out two weeks before our wedding that we will have fertility issues. It was very emotional. Um, I had to go in for an emergency surgery, a cystectomy, and then um, we kind of went about life. We were newlyweds. We were still getting to know each other and everything was fine. And then about three years in, I had another cystectomy and that really clinched it um, because my OBGYN sent me to a fertility specialist for this cystectomy. And I found out there that I have PCOS, uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome. And, um, endometriosis and both of which for different reasons that I haven't even fully researched yet cause infertility um, so this is like day one friends I'm gonna bring you along as I learn things and as um, I say I we my husband's at work um, as we learn things and as we figure out what we need to do and um, just to kind of clue you in, I've also had weird um, health issues for like probably four of those five and a half years we've been married. Um, been to lots of doctors, had lots of blood work, and the consensus is that I have an autoimmune disorder called Hashimoto's at the very least. Um, there could be more, doctors aren't clear, I'm not getting any answers, but um, all that thyroid junk, which is what Hashimoto's is, it's the autoimmune disease associated with your thyroid. So all of the thyroid junk, plus all of the PCOS junk, um, plus a little bit of emotional eating and a little bit of laziness and a little bit of never exercising has gotten us to a place, um, both me and my husband, to a place where we are not healthy enough. Just if everything was functioning normally, we're not healthy enough to conceive. So, um, As I start this journey, I know that's where we're going to start. Um, as we're doing our research, as we're figuring out next steps, as we're figuring out how to emotionally handle this business of <clears throat> having a family, um, we're going to try to be healthier. <clears throat> um, and I know a lot of times being healthier is associated with losing weight, which I need to do. Obviously, guys, I'm being real here. Like, there's no makeup on this face. There's no hair did. Although, this is how I wear my hair 90% of the time. I'm sitting here in my pajamas and an oversized cruising t-shirt. Um... And I'm just, I'm being real. I just, I want to document this and I want some accountability and I want to tell someone, I want to tell someone how much this sucks 
And I want to tell someone that they're not alone. Because I hope I'm not alone. And um, it's hard. And we haven't even started. And it's so hard. So, <clears throat> I hope you come along with me as we start this thing. Um, I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know where it's going to go. But I just need some friends on this journey. And I hope my realness... invites you in um, because I want to do this with somebody so here we go I uh, hope you come along <laughs> bye